so to uh, give you a sense of where um, our energy uh, consumption is in this country, um, if you look at the pie chart on the left, we've got coal at about a quarter, natural gas about a quarter, uh, petroleum at 40 percent, and nuclear about eight, and renewable is this sliver of six that I mentioned before. Um, and while you might think that's predominantly solar and wind and, and those types of things, it's actually primarily almost half biomass and, and half hydroelectric with little slivers of wind and solar uh, with geothermal being about 5 percent. So uh, keep in mind when, when you're, you see numbers about renewable energy in this country and how much it's uh, increasing and all that, um, solar and wind still only make up uh, 3 percent of the renewables in this country right now. So it's, it's the growing part of it. Hydroelectric is staying the same, um, but it, it's still a small sliver. Uh, so let's go through each one of those in a little bit more detail, and I won't, won't read all the words on the slide. You'll get those in the uh, proceedings or on the CD. But just to highlight a few things, um, hydropower is uh, basically capturing the kinetic energy, uh, and we increase that uh, potential energy by building dams and uh, putting the water essentially at a higher elevation uh, so we get more kinetic energy out of it. Um, we then use uh, generators and turbines to produce electricity. Uh, the R&D focus right now is basically trying to reduce the environmental impact. Um, building dams is not very popular today. Um, and also trying to uh, achieve greater energy efficiencies from the systems that are already in place. Um, uh, hydropower is the largest grid-connected renewable electricity source in the United States with over uh, 80,000 uh, megawatt generating capacity, uh, 264 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. That's quite a bit. Um, the power system size range is from uh, less than 100 kilowatts to 10,000 megawatts, so relatively large systems. Uh, and you can see if, if the total is 80,000 and there's at least one that's above 10,000, you can see it's dominated by the large producers. Uh, right now it's the least expensive source of electricity in the United States uh, with very high efficiencies and it gets down to about 0.6 cents per kilowatt hour.